We're not down the sixth grade wing, so the die is cast. Off we go. Uh, <laughs> construction site has been established. Uh, we're gearing up for construction now. Design documents uh, yesterday were published to our uh, to our uh, repository of data. The design documents are at eighty percent, uh, and um, we have. We have continued to work with an outstanding team that includes the folks from Trident, Project Advisors, uh, our Owners Project Management Group, uh, Paul and Gino, uh, the architect and engineers uh, you may have seen uh, in our meetings from the H.L. Turner Group out of Concord. They're, uh, uh, they're doing the design. And then the builders, uh, the construction management firm is bought at Page and Stone out of Laconia. Um, all of them, I'm sure, have placed their placards on that fence. Uh, but. Uh, the process over the summer uh, has not been exactly what we wanted. We really saw that site come to complete uh, in the last couple of days. Uh, we, ha we ran into more asbestos than had been anticipated, and despite all of the testing that was done, uh, there, there must have been, in the years when they built that wing, uh, several drums of this black <laughs> mastic laying around that they just figured they would use because they found it even on the footings uh, it was it was in places that uh, nobody expected it, and the testing hadn't revealed. So it slowed us down because there were some abatement steps that had to had to be taken. Um, it certainly was there was no enthusiasm, no excitement. The last the last round of abatement when they had to chisel it off the the concrete foundation, the footing, frost the frost wall. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, and they said they would be doing so in. Now I'm going to use the wrong word, but I call them hazmat suits, and I said, well, that's going to be great. We've got people driving by, and we've got guys out there in these uniforms. That'll be <laughs> walking on the moon. I'm walking on the moon. It wasn't, they, they weren't like that. They no. were like they wanted to keep their clothes clean. I mean, it was, it was a, you know, standard uh, regulatory, uh, reg, you know, regulated precautions. But uh, so that abatement is done. <clears throat> now that the site is nice and smooth, they will immediately begin to dig it back up again, and we'll... Uh, We'll start to work on footings, and um, I will tell you that the building committee has been meeting and will continue to meet regularly. Their next meeting is tomorrow. Uh, that group will, will will help us as con construction starts and we start to really roll here uh, into the uh, into the fall and winter. The committee will help with communication so that there is more information uh, available. And then I just want to remind everyone, if you hadn't already heard. Um, that the June 2017, not 16, the 2000, June 17 bond sale was successful. Uh, we sold bonds uh, at a rate of 3.15%, which was great from the projections and all of the analysis that we'd done and the numbers we talked about. This is a, a, about $100,000, um, $100,000 a year less in terms, of the, in terms of the paper. Mm. That was number. We were, we were afraid that we might crest 4% and beyond on a 25 year bond. So 315 was uh, 315 was was uh, real exciting for us. So this is very exciting. Everybody is very excited about it. Um, we'll expect next week to see steel delivered on site. Uh, the concrete has been ordered and ready to come. The, uh, the we have three main issues going to happen, and that will be the, the steel, the concrete, and we also have our site development which will you know get the site ready for all of those those things so we expect that you'll start to see uh, some real movement on that site now with with uh, that mastic issue behind us so it's we've moved i said that in the course of this but if you didn't know we won't find us in the marston space we've moved to seven scott road down behind hannaford um, uh, you can get in anytime you want Getting back out anytime after four o'clock. <laughs> Don't do it. No, it's that was the summertime. Yeah. yeah. Any questions? We got the piece of property on Tall Farm Road. What do you think you do with that? Well, we we um, we did some research um, and uh, dug through some old documents. Uh, the board clearly owns it, and the board clearly has. Uh, the right to do with it what they choose um, and board being the school board. school board and the school board voted back um, the early in what September maybe um, they decided to just keep the land under the jurisdiction of the school board uh, recently we had um, Mrs. Wolseley came and uh, wanted the um, 
land to be put into the Conservation Commission, um, the board took it under advisement. And so we are looking at um, that um, suggestion by Mrs. Wolseley, uh, along with uh, Jay Diener, who talked to us a little bit about uh, the property uh, having a uh, right of way. Um, Conservation easement. Conservation easement, was, yep. which would um, make sure that the uh, land stayed as is. So that decision rests in the hands of our school board. What is the value of that land if you were to sell it? Well, we, we know there's about 30 acres. Um, 15 of those acres are buildable. We know that because the board back in 2011 um, looked at that property as a potential site for the middle school should they walk away from the Hampton Academy site. Um, and uh, so we did, uh, we know that there's 15 acres of buildable property there that we could have put the building on. The value is whatever the value of an acre of land is in, in Hampton, and I don't know that. I don't know that. Well, now, since Mary Louise Wolseley put in a two cents to the school board, yeah. and it's contrary to my five cents, should I go to the school board and offer my five cents, or should I make it right now? Whichever makes you feel more comfortable. I think everyone would be happier if I said it right now. Okay. Last year, and the prior year, when we attempted to get the bond for this renovation project, I believe promises were made that steps would be taken to find other revenue sources to offset the cost as much as we could, which included the school board going after, I believe it was at the falls, Trying yep. to get them to, to lease into it as one of those other revenue sources. <laughs> this asset called 15 acres of usable land, total of 30 acres, is another resource for revenue. I believe that the promises made that we would find all other revenue sources still should apply. And you should, if you have no other use for it, you should, in fact, put it in private hands and get market value for it. And use it to reduce the cost of the remodeling project, as was promised to the voters. Now, I hope that was easier than me going to the school board to say. We'll take that under advisement. I appreciate that, Jenny. Okay. Thank you. Is that, is that a subtle denial? <laughs> no, it is not. It is. We'll bring that back to the board. And just so you know, the board did make um, every effort uh, to talk with the uh, neighboring school district relative to the students uh, joining the Hampton Academy. Family. Yes, I observed that. I and believe that is true. And I think the school yeah. board should make every effort with other uh, idle assets and make them perform. For the taxpayers, as especially since it was basically promised, you would find all other alternative revenues to offset the cost of this remodeling project. That was part of the sales pitch. Mm -hmm. Let's let's be true to the, the vote. Well, and I think that over the past seven years, we have proven as a school board let's and our leadership. Let's continue that proof. Yes, let's continue that. that they will do that. Mm -hmm. so, let's continue sure. with that. Sure, we'll take it under advice. I'm sure it will be a discussion in future board meetings. I'll be happy to come to explain it any further if the school board so desires. Okay. Glad you didn't say ex superintendents because then I would have been bothered by that. No, that's all right. I, 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 Are you finished with your presentation? We are finished. Okay.